Students in an Indiana high school are rallying behind a beloved teacher who could be fired after he didn't report a man on school grounds with a gun. CBS 2's Chelsea Irving is live at Lake Central High School in St. John with more. Chelsea. Robin Erica, the man who walked into the school behind me angry and armed with a gun is a convicted felon and he is now facing more possible criminal charges. Meanwhile, the teacher whose students say kept them safe could lose his job. Mr. Brannick is a wonderful teacher. He goes above and beyond. Students from Dennis Brannick's class are lining up to support the beloved teacher who has taught auto shop at Lake Central for 45 years. I don't think it's fair. But Brannick could be fired for not reporting an armed man in the school and around his students. Mr. Brannick didn't see the gun. Mr. Brannick didn't know he had a gun. On September 21st, as part of Mo Shirari's auto shop class, he took his car on a test run through a nearby neighborhood. Soon after, an irate man with a gun followed Mo back to school, even went through shop doors and inside the school, accusing Mo of driving recklessly around kids. I would never drive that fast in a small neighborhood. Students say the man took his gun back to the car, then came back again, yelling at the kids. That's when they say Brannick became aware of the situation and stepped in. He locked the doors, we went to the classroom. He kept us safe. But Brannick failed to report the incident to the principal or to the St. John police, who only found out about it after a concerned parent called them. As police investigate possible criminal charges against the armed man, the school board says they are following board policy, which specifically states that staff members must report knowledge of weapons or threats against students to the principal and, quote, Failure to report such information may subject the staff member to disciplinary action, up to and including termination. Students hope that's not the case. Mr. Brannick did a great job of handling that, and I don't think he should be in this situation or even be getting in trouble for this. I did speak with Dennis Brannick very briefly today, but he said he did not want to comment for this story. There are some parents who would like to see disciplinary action taken against the teacher, but they appear to be far outnumbered by Brannick's supporters. Many of those supporters gathering here in just a little while for a rally to support Dennis Brannick in advance of a school board meeting here tonight. Reporting live in St. John, Chelsea Irving, CBS2 News. Rob and Erica, back to you. Okay, Chelsea, thank you.